It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. Hello everyone, this is Casey Whalen, the creator of We're Alive, and I've got an exciting announcement for you all. Next weekend on March 26th, we're going to be hosting a special We're Alive Descendants Season 1 finale live stream. Join us for an exclusive crew commentary on Chapter 12 and a Q&A with the cast. You'll even get to hear the finale, Chapter 12 Part 2, before its official release. There will be spoilers, so be sure to be caught up on all Descendants before the live stream. We'll be streaming on our YouTube channel beginning at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All the details can be found on our social media and our website, www.we'realive.com. And now, on to the episode. Hi, I'm Megan Rinks. And I'm Melissa D. Montz. And like every other person with access to a microphone, we started a podcast. On Mondays, we release Don't Blame Me, which is an advice podcast where listeners call in and we share our thoughts on situations such as what to do if you're going to your boyfriend's family function and you haven't told him that you previously slept with both his twin brothers. Then on Thursdays, we release our podcast, But Am I Wrong?, where we ethically gossip about pop culture, politics, our lives, and your lives. Listeners write in and we tell them if they're wrong or right in a situation. Are you the hero or the villain? On Tuesdays and Fridays, we throw in a little something extra as well. A little something something. We strive to create a community grounded in activism, mental health, and inclusivity. Think of us as like your blunt, honest friends who give you advice that you need to hear, not what you want to hear. But we're also always rooting for your success. What we lack in credentials, we make up for in... Opinions. We do that in every episode, too. (laughs) We're professional unprofessionals, so if you're looking for a new slate of podcasts to add to your routine, we're here for you. ACAST recommends. We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 25, Inadequate Strength, Part 2 of 3. kept falling faster and faster to an area of farmland in the middle of the desert. Peg struggled to hold onto the stick as the entire helicopter felt like he was going to come apart. I got Riley! Hang on! I thought we were going to crash, but in the last few seconds, she pulled it all together and we sat down in the dirt. I have to turn it off! Do we even have spare fluid? I need to get outside. What? Michael, I said we need... What happened? Are we there? Kelly, grab a rifle. What? Okay, why? Not to, she lost pressure. That thing you fixed, well, it broke. The hydraulics again? I, I have tools, and we have spare fluids. Well, do it, and do it now. Kelly, outside with me. Where are we going? Wait, what about me? Hope, stay in here with Lady. Tanya, I could use you too. Grab a gun. We made a lot of noise coming down. We don't have much time. Oh. Each take a corner. You two up at the front, I'll take the rear. Kelly, keep an eye on that farmhouse down there. That's your sector of fire. Well, there's not much I can do right now in here. Datu, you and Pegs need to fix this now. It took me days last time. Yeah, well, you've got minutes. How do you know that? I don't know if I can. You said it yourself. We can't fly at night. Can I help somehow? No, just stay in there and keep the dog quiet. Maybe it's not so bad. The gauge dropped pretty quick. If that's any help. Not really. Damn it, this was not part of the plan. A lot of things weren't. We'll manage. Where exactly are we? Some farming community outside of Barstow. Hey, turn around and take a knee like I am. You too, Tanya. I'm doing it. Watch in the dirt. Some bird over there. No zombies. Bags? Um, hold this while I climb up. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh. 
I'm not seeing anything on this side. Doesn't seem like anything's out there. This side either. Seems okay. Just keep watching. You can't be certain. If a helicopter falls in the field and no one's around, it doesn't make a sound. Hey, this isn't the time! If something starts to come at us, we'll see it a long way off. I'd be able to see it first from up here. You want me to keep a lookout from the top while you do whatever you need to do? Ay, 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 this is hot! What we need to do right now is get this thing fixed and get in the air before nightfall. We have about an hour, hour and a half at the most, before it gets dark. How long do you think this will take, Datu? Oh. Longer than that! This thing's a mess! I like the idea of one lookout. The rest of us can help Datu or, or... Tender Riley, I can move her somewhere more comfortable. I don't think we have her in the best spot. It's gonna get cold, too. We might think about opening up some of the boxes and find some blankets or something. Is that okay? Hello? Michael? Michael, are you okay? Am I okay right now? Yeah. I'm just dealing with this. What? The landing? We're fine. I can fix this. No. Bert, Angel, everyone else in the tower. I thought a lot about it on the way here. But now, with something to do, I... I can't right now. You always told us to stay busy. That's the best way. Uh, push it back. Move on. Maybe I was wrong. Where's Angel? Where is he? Oh... Where are we? What happened? You really shouldn't be walking around. You got hit pretty hard. Why don't we go sit down? He's not here, is he? We left him there? Why won't anyone say anything? Just tell me! I... I can't. Just please. I, I don't know. I, I, I want to know. Tell me. I heard you. You said something. You said his name. Just tell me, Michael. Tell me. I... Uh... He's gone. What? Angel was trapped on the roof when, when the tower came down. God. And so this is it? Just us? Yeah, this is it. Just gone. Oh. And my boy. Victor. Oh, God. Steven, Mary, Jake, James, I sent them down to the motor pool. I locked Lewis in his room. He didn't even have a chance. Dutu, come on down. There's no way we can fix it in time to leave tonight. Hope, you too. Get out here. I can't get around. I'll get her. Bring Lady? <clears throat> Please? I just got him back, too. 
over here. Stat! We lit a small campfire, nothing large, but enough to keep us warm and give us a little light. Hope, Tanya, Riley, Peggs, and I sat in a small circle eating MREs while Datu sat on top of the helicopter trying diligently to patch the leak. I said we could fix it in the morning, but he insisted, and who was I to argue? Oh, and not to forget Kelly, who sat next to him keeping watch. Oh, so what'd you get? Jumble ass. Which one am I eating again? Well, if you can't tell, I don't think reading it to you would change that. You gonna eat your lemon bread? No, that's yours. Oh, I hate it. Tastes like cardboard. Hey, this is a farm, right? You have any crops? It'd be better than this stuff. There's wheat and corn. Wait, we wouldn't have to cook that, right? It's dead and rotting. I looked. I'm not surprised. There hasn't been water out here for quite a while. Oh, great. We get used to them. What's today's date? Um, August 2nd, for another hour or so. You still writing in that? Aren't we supposed to? I don't know. Are we still doing that? It wouldn't hurt. Exactly. How are we looking up there, Callie? Same as before. Nothing. Might need a new change of batteries pretty soon. It's starting to get dark. I know where they are. I'll get them. Batteries? Yeah, she's using Bert's NVGs. Um, uh, night vision goggles. Oh. There's a bunch of his stuff crammed in the back crates. Yeah, we're lucky to have it. You see some of the stuff he brought? Yeah, yeah. He did plan for everything. Yeah, he did. Honestly, didn't know him very long. But he seemed a little strange. <laughs> a little? That was just who he was. As much as we didn't get along, I'm, I'm really going to miss him. Do we have to get into this? Everyone was just starting to calm down. Hard not to talk about death when it surrounded us as much as it has. No kidding. When I think about it, it's just crazy. Everyone I knew more than four months ago is gone. Now, there's a lot to deal with. Here you go. Seems like we'd talk about it more. There are other things you can talk about. Well, it sounds like that's what's on everyone's mind. I don't think ignoring it's going to help. Whatever you say, I'm going to have a smoke. Watch her. I see her. Tanya? I'm just saying... This isn't over. We could lose more of us. Just because we left L.A. doesn't mean we're safe. You don't know. It could be. You know what I'm saying. It, it's just stressful. I hate dealing with that on my chest every day. And to be honest, it's been worse since I met all of you. It's not exactly our fault. I know. I I'm just saying what's on my mind. Maybe you're more involved, because it's the same way with me. I worry about you all more than I did my soldiers back in the day. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You think one of us should go talk to her? Uh-oh. -uh. I think Riley just needs to be alone for a bit. I don't know. I'm worried about her. She lost her best friend and the person she loves most in the same month. Yeah, but which is which? Hey. Well, that's what we're all thinking. Leave her be. Anyone else have something they need to talk about besides that? So what happens if we get there and it's a ghost town or overrun? I don't think we're going back, right? Well, there's a few more active duty bases to the east, but I'm not sure exactly how far off they are. 
I'll be honest. Even with a reserve fuel drum, any fallback destination might end up being traveled to on wheels. But I plan to reassess what we can do once we touch down at Irwin. Fair enough. Look, you're all still looking at me like I'm the one in charge, which I understand. But if you have something to say, then say it. I'd rather have you talk about it now than later. We have time. Okay. If we're done, then... I don't know. I might. Okay. What is it? It's about Saul. What about him? You sure about what happened? He was in the Hummer? Yeah, he was in the turret when it got hit. Victor was in there, too. I saw it all happen. But, but are you sure? What about someone else? Is it possible that there's anybody alive back there? What about Lizzie? No, I'm sure. And I doubt very seriously that the Maulers would keep Lizzie alive. There's no reason to. I'm thinking the reason they swapped girls at the trade is because she's already dead. I know, I wanted to spare you the details, but... Well, there it is. I know what you told me before, but I just have a feeling it's all. Not to be harsh, but I know what I saw. Trust me, there's no one still alive back there. Moving around at night in LA didn't seem like the best idea. So Victor and I parked the truck and headed inside this like six floor office building. It was mostly empty inside since it was under construction. We went to the top floor and found a small office on the west side. This door's got a decent lock on it. Good enough for you? Don't bitch at me for making sure it's safe. You wanna be safe? Then go down and grab the 50 cal out of the bed and bring it up here. Someone might take it. You didn't care a minute ago. Yeah, but that was before I started work. Seriously, what if someone grabs it? What are the chances of that? <laughs> With our luck lately? I covered it. If we bought it, you know what? I am done explaining. I'm beat. You want it? You go get it. <sighs> now that I'm down, I'm not getting back up. What time you got? You gotta watch. It's broke. I'm just gonna assume it's time for my drip. How long you have to wear that IV thing? I don't know. Till it runs out. Michael and the rest should be there by now. You know? Good for them. So what's our next step? Why you keep asking me like I got an idea? My next step is getting something to eat and then sleep. I'm starving and tired. Any water left in your camelback? Go ahead. Go easy on it, though. That's all the water I've got. Uh, you mind sharing some of that? The MRE? Don't you have your own? What the hell you got in your pack? Uh, a couple of snacks and candy, but no meals. I didn't expect to be out here this long. Think I did? Apparently. I had enough to last me a few days on my own, and now I got you hogging it all. Alright. Fine. I don't need it. Don't know why you're treating me like shit all of a sudden. All of a sudden. Yeah. I'm gonna suffer from your piss poor planning. <laughs> Whatever, man. Where you going? I'm leaving. Yeah, you better not be taking the truck. Look, I have the keys, I drove it, sounds like mine to me. I'll leave the 50 cal on the curb. Oh, I'll make sure I'll cover it. I shot the old driver. You seriously going to leave? Just like that? Someone's a bitch. Go, stay, what do you want? I got nothing to eat worth a damn, I'm exhausted, and I don't deserve this shit! Yo, I'm tired too. Then I'll be seeing you. Here, take it. It's vegetarian. I'm not one. I know, but those are usually the best ones. Sit. Eat. 
And if you really want to go it alone, I can go. I don't, ha I don't have to be here. Yeah, maybe that'd be better. Mañana, I'm gone. I'm going to be looking for her, you know. I'm not stopping. Look, man, I was just trying to split a meal, not tell you what to do. Ugh. What the hell is this thing? You supposed to eat this? Add water to the bag if you want to heat it up. Why aren't you doing that? Takes too long. <sighs> what are you thinking about? Where am I going to be tomorrow? Where am I going to eat? If I'm gonna eat. We'll figure something out. <laughs> we, huh? Sorry. What? What was that? I said, sorry. <laughs> All right. Thanks. So, uh, <clears throat> where are we going to start looking? Thinking of going back to where the tower was after the dust settles. They were in a hurry. Maybe they left something behind. You, um, think she's still... I don't know. But I'll never stop looking. No, I don't think you will. How's it coming up there? Uh, not too bad. Almost done. Well, hang in there. You can nap the rest of the way. A whole half hour. Wow. Well, thanks, Michael. Yeah. Yay, me! Oh, what time is it? Five. What? Really? Zero five fifteen. I wasn't gonna get everyone up for at least another hour. You can sleep a little longer if you want. No, I can't. Yeah, I hear you. I slept like five minutes all night. Everything's all hazy. Sure it's not the goggles? <laughs> can you even see me with those things on? Mostly. You're just greener. You can take them off now. It's bright enough. Oh, thanks. It's hard to tell with these on. Oh. Gosh, your eyes are all red. What, you didn't believe me? Come here. What? Closer. I'm cold. Well, then get back inside and cover up. Remember that conversation we had about you not getting something? Oh, now's one of those times? It's been so long since it was just you and I. I just want to be close to you. Well, there's a lot going on, and I really should be watching. You can do both, see? You can look right over me. There's nothing out there. You can spend a few minutes. Datu can see from up there, too, so quit worrying. Well, exactly. What about Datu? Oh, don't let me stop you. I'm done up here. Everyone will be awake soon. Just give me this. All right. Hex. What now? Uh, I heard it too. It's over there. Pegs, get inside. Michael? Shh. Oh! Ah! ah there! It's all right. It's just a coyote. Okay, who had the jambalaya? They forgot their trash. What happened? What's going on? Someone help me. It's all right. Datu was just shooting some wildlife. I didn't. I missed. It's okay. Wouldn't be proud of that. Guys, where's Riley? What? She's not here? How? Where the hell could she have gone? 
We've had someone on watch all night. Did she even come back after her smoke? She didn't even... She never came back. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. Hi, I'm Karen Natterson. And I'm Vanessa Bennett. And we are the hosts of the Puberty Podcast. It's a show that weaves together scientific research, parenting strategies, and hilarious stories to help adults who are raising kids through adolescence. First, we lay the groundwork for how puberty has changed, and then we get into the tricky territory of how to talk about it with kids. Listen to us on Acast or wherever you get your podcasts. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. Acast helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. ACAST.com Starring Jim Gleason Nate Gies Otto Sturk Elisa Elliott Claire Doden Jay Oligario Scott Marvin Tammy Klein, Shirley Jordan, and Jane Lehach. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Whelan. Produced by Grayson Stone and K.C. Whelan. Sound designers, Michelle and Robert Montiel and K.C. Whelan. Line producer, Simon Nepper. Zombie intern, Eric Wargo. Music intro by Brother Dan. Series artist, Ben Hosack. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this audio theater for the mind by Wayland Productions. <laughs>